watching Days of Pain and Victory. My name is Josh and today we're gonna do a little welding project with my new Weld Pro MIG 155. So I want to do um, kind of a simple little project with this thing so I can you know kind of get to know the machine a little bit more before we go on to build the fab table. So today this is what we're doing. Check it out. All right so we got this camp stove here and I've got a couple of these plow discs. We're gonna make a plow disc cooker, cowboy walk. So basically what we're gonna need to do is get the wire wheel, clean all this rust off. Um, I'm gonna take a grinder and you know make this edge less sharp. We gotta plug this hole in the middle because don't want all that glorious grease dripping down out the middle. And then we're gonna bend some rebar handles on each side. And I've got two of these, so I'll show you how to make the first one and then I'll probably just, you know, get the second one made off camera. So, all right, let's get to it. All right, this is the closest size hole saw I have. And uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a fillet weld. We'll try that first, if I don't like it, on the second one, I'll just kind of use a skinny wheel and cut cut out a circle somehow. Dirty because it's fucked for, but damn, I like this little thing. All right, not too bad. I'm not gonna make it perfect because like the whole thing's got divots and stuff. The next step's gonna be making some handles, and I've got some rebar for that. All right, here's the rebar so on this back side here, and I'm gonna go in a couple inches, a couple inches for your hand, so say four inches. And mm -hmm. five inches to make it comfy. Got the handles made, so now I just gotta kind of lay out where they where I want them to go. Room for my hand in there, and want them directly across from each other. So just put that one there. Man, I am really impressed with this little welder. 300 bucks. It is way, way smoother operating than the Harbor Freight, uh, at least the Chicago Electric one. I can't speak for the Titanium series. I haven't used any of them, 
But I have used the Chicago Electric uh, variety, the um, one that's the same amperage as this, and it is not near as good. This thing, pretty rad for 300 bucks. Um, that rebar was like glowing red. When I finished the welds, the um, plow disc was red too, and that's about 3 16 steel, and then the rebar is 3 8 um, so I feel like it's getting pretty good penetration. Um, I'm excited for what we're gonna be able to build with this thing. So next up is going to be Fab Table. Check this out. Look at that beauty. Three quarters inches thick. It's a freaking monster. I think it was uh, 330 pounds. It's like four by 36. It'd be perfect for this little shop here because still gonna try to fit the Jeep in here. And I mean, it's a mess, but fab table here, Jeep here. Um, I think it'll work out. So let's go try this plow disc cooker out. Ainsley, what do we got going on in here? It's Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday? Mm -hmm. All right. new plow disc cookers. I think we level up a bit. I am super impressed with that Well Pro MIG 155. Now that I've got the polarity right, thank you 2TB man for pointing that out to me. Uh, man, it's like a totally different machine. Go figure. So um, yeah, even with the flux core, it's welding really well. So I'm excited to see how it does with, you know, shielded gas. Um, and I'm also excited to see how it does when I actually get 220 um, because when you go from 110 to 220 the difference is amazing so this little machine might be um, pretty awesome future fab projects I uh, got that fab table that's the next thing we're gonna do so that'll be next that way the future fab projects can be done right on a nice flat fab table that we can pound on, we can clamp to, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna put a little spot for the welder, um, maybe put some spots to uh, hang clamps and whatnot. So it'll be good. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then gonna get the big chief home. Uh, worked on the motor this week and oh, had some bad news. So when that video is done, I will make sure to link it up here. So the motor is going to take a little bit longer to get put back together. So that means we just got to get the chief out wheeling. If it blows smoke, burns oil, whatever, so be it. We got to get some mud on the tires. So going to get it home, tuned up a bit so we can go wheeling. In two weeks, maybe one week from this video, we got the DPV Gambler 500. So stay tuned for that video. It's going to be rad. Um, and then in six weeks, we are leaving for Baja 1000 in a trophy truck. It is going to be rad. I will link Total Mayhem Racing's Instagram in the description below so you can go check out the progress on the trophy truck. And those guys are amazing. That being said, we have, there's several ways you can support the channel and all the money that goes through these various avenues will be going towards the Baja 1000 for the next six weeks. So you can buy a t-shirt, got several different designs on Teespring, link is in the description below. You can also buy any of the tools on Amazon that we use on this channel. I've got those linked in the description below as well, including the welder. You can also become a Patreon. The best thing you do is hit that subscribe button and tell your friends. Finally got the watch hours we need. 
we just need the subscribers. So if you can help us boost that number up to the 1,000, that would be awesome. Thanks again for watching this video. Wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, repeat.